odd how quiet the castle looks from here. You would think there was nobody inside at all. But I shouldn't delay things further. I had a plan. To enter the castle after the village was secure. There is a secret passage here, in the mill, accessible only to my family. I had no idea what lurked in the castle, and I couldn't abandon the people of the village. What if... Maker's breath. Tigan. Thank the Maker you yet live. Isolde. You're alive. How did you... What has happened? I do not have much time to explain. I slipped away from the castle as soon as I saw the battle was over, and I must return quickly. And I need you to return with me, Tiga. Alone. What? I... Who is this man, Tigan? You remember me, Lady Assault, don't you? Alistair. Of all the... Why are you here? They are Grey Wardens, Isolde. I owe them my life. Burden me, I... I would exchange pleasantries, but... Considering the circumstances... Please, Lady Isolde, we had no idea anyone was even alive within the castle. We must have some answers. I know you need more of an explanation, but I... I, I don't know what is safe to tell. Tigan, there is a terrible evil within the castle. The dead waken and, and haunt the living. The maid responsible was caught, but still it continues. And I think Connor is going mad. We have survived, but he won't flee the castle. He has seen so much death. You must help him, Tigan. You are his uncle. You could reason with him. I do not know what else to do. He is. He is being kept alive so far, thank the Maker. Kept alive? Kept alive by what? Something the mage unleashed. So far it allows Eamon, Connor and myself to live. The others were not so fortunate. It killed so many and turned their bodies into walking nightmares. Once it was done with the castle, it struck the village. It wants us to live, but I do not know why. It allowed me to come for you, Tigan, because I begged, because I said Connor needed help. I... I, I do not know. Oh, Maker's mercy. Could it truly be a demon? I can't let it hurt my Connor. You must come back with me, Tigan. Please. He is an infiltrator, I think. One of the castle staff. We discovered he was poisoning my husband. That is why Eamon fell ill. Eamon was poisoned? He claims an agent of Terran Loghains hired him. He may be lying, however. I cannot say. For Connor's sake, I promised I would return quickly and only with Tigan. Tigan, I know you could order your men to follow me when I return to the castle. I beg you not to, for Connor's sake. The king is dead, and we need my brother now more than ever. I will return to the castle with you, Isolde. <gasps> Thank the Maker. Bless you, Tigan. <gasps> Bless you. I'm not certain, to be honest. I cannot let Isolde return alone. Perhaps I can help Connor or Eamon. Perhaps this is really a trap, but this is my family. I must try. I have no illusions of dealing with this evil alone. You, on the other hand, have proven quite formidable. Isolde, can you excuse us for a moment? We must confer in private before I return to the castle with you. Please do not take too long. I will be by the bridge. Here's what I propose. I go in with Isolde, and you enter the castle using the secret passage. My signet ring unlocks the door. Perhaps I will distract whatever evil is inside and increase your chances of getting in unnoticed. What do you say? I wish I knew. 
I don't know any more about this evil force than Isolde seems to. Sir Perth and his men can watch for danger at the castle entrance. If you can open the gates from within, they can move in and help you. I don't think there's anyone else who can help you. If you choose not to go, then it's up to me to do what I can. Here is my signet ring. It will open the lock on the door in the mill. Whatever you do, Eamon is the priority here. If you have to, just get him out of there. Isolde, me, and anyone else, we are expendable. You are a good man. The Maker smiled on me indeed when he sent you to Redcliffe. So we are just going to send him with that woman? It seems so dangerous. One fool plan on top of another. But I can delay no longer. Allow me to bid you farewell. And good luck. This is a trap of the defenders of this castle. <laughs> It's wholly you. I can't believe it. Maker's breath, how did you get here? I never thought I'd see you again, of all people. You've spoken with her. Then you know I poisoned Al Eamon. For all I know, he's already dead. He's not? That's a relief. I can't tell you how much. Please, I know how it seems. Poisoning the Arl was a, a terrible thing. But I'm not behind everything else happening here, I swear! Before I say anything else, I need to ask you a question. You can do whatever you feel you need to afterward, but I need to know. What became of Lily? They didn't hurt her, did they? The thought that she might have paid for my crime. Oh, my poor Lily, she must hate me now, if she even lives. What have I done? So, here we are again, the two of us. What happens now? I... I know it looks suspicious, but I'm not responsible for the creatures and the killings in the castle. I was already imprisoned when all that began. At first, Lady Isolde came here with her men, demanding that I reverse what I'd done. I thought she meant my poisoning of the Arl. That's the first I heard about the walking corpses. She thought I'd summoned a demon to torment her family and destroy Redcliffe. She... had me tortured. There was nothing I could do or say that would appease her. So, they left me to rot. I was instructed to by Terran Loghain. I was told that Arl Aemon was a threat to Ferelden. That if I dealt with him, Loghain would settle matters with the Circle. All I wanted was to be able to return. But he abandoned me here, didn't he? Everything's fallen apart. I never thought it would end like this. Maker, I've made so many mistakes. I've disappointed so many people. I wish I could go back and fix it. I just want to make everything right again. Well, it's a start, maybe. I don't know if anything I do could ever make it right. Connor had started to show... signs. Lady Isolde was terrified the Circle of Magi would take him away for training. Connor? A mage? I can't believe it. She sought an apostate, a mage outside the Circle, to teach her son in secret so he could learn to hide his talent. Her husband had no idea. I thought that too. Connor has little knowledge of magic, but he may have done something to tear open the veil. With the veil to the Fade torn, spirits and demons could infiltrate the castle. Powerful ones could kill and create those walking corpses. He 
because he would be taken away forever. A mage cannot inherit a title, even the son of a powerful Arl. She's also a pious woman. Her son having magic was humiliating. No, she was adamant that he never find out. She said that he'd do the right thing, even if it meant losing their son, and that infuriated her. Son. But he's still very young. He can barely cast a minor spell, never mind something more powerful. At least not intentionally. Like I said, he may have torn the veil accidentally. If he's involved in this at all, I really don't know. The Arl's a decent man. I wondered how he could possibly be the threat Loghain said he was, but I did it anyway. I'm such a fool. I'm just sick of running away and hiding from what I've done. I'm going to try to fix it any way I can. We were friends once. I know I don't deserve to call you that after what I did. If it ever meant anything, please help me fix this. I'm still the same Jowan you knew. If... If you're still the same friend I once had, I'm hoping you'll help me do what I know is right. I say kill the mage. He cannot be trusted. He doesn't need to die, surely. He wishes to redeem himself. Doesn't everyone deserve that chance? He's your friend. You know him best. Give me a chance, please. I... well, I tried to save anyone still up there. There must be something I can do. Afterwards, I assume I'll be arrested, or executed, or whatever people like me get. A part of me knew right from the beginning that I'd have to face the consequences one day. I knew I'd be caught, eventually. Everything I've done has just delayed the inevitable. I'm done with running and hiding. I need to account for what I've done. I'm glad you think so. So what now? You're letting me out? And what then? I'm not sure that's a good idea. I'd like to help out, but I'm not so sure I want to follow you into danger exactly. I won't, I promise. I will find a way to fix this somehow.
Yes. And I'm off. Valena, the Arlesa's maid, she... 
All right. What happened to everyone? You know my father. I want to go back to the village. Is there a way out of here? But, but the monsters... I'll find my way. I can run fast and I know the castle. Thank you. The end is upon us! The dead rise! My Valena returned. She told me of your daring rescue. I can't begin to tell you how grateful I am. Take this. A reward for your deed. It's dwarven made and should serve you well. Thank you again. I'm forever in your debt.